We are recording. We're here. We're live Hiya. in the flesh. What's welcome, going on? Welcome back to the Kinks and Beauty podcast. It is me, Brittany Ogike, and the lovely Jessica Houston. Um, Hi. We are with you today. I'm really excited about this episode. Me too. Um, <laughs> it's like my favorite. <laughs> like, if you know me, you know why. So... <laughs> I would probably say that I am a stan of the next category we are going to talk about. Absolutely. Do From you living, consider yourself a stan or just a fan? I think I'm I'm a baby stan. I don't think that I'm as big of a stan as you are. Um, I remember when we lived in Maslin and you like that was like my first, you know, introduction to just like L.A. living with you and Alexis. And Brittany was like, I got to come home right now because it's seven <laughs> o'clock. My show on like, let me go. So, oh yes, I don't think that I'm as big of a I'm a baby. I'm just a little tiny stand, but I a love baby stand. I love it. I, I okay. love this topic. So. Um, if you've seen in the show description, you know what we're talking about. We're talking housewives today. And you're like, why does this, how does this relate to a beauty podcast with two black girls? But it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make anything relate to housewives, honestly. Um, so, they're so relatable. Like, they're so, what? Yeah. <laughs> they're housewives, so I mean. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about housewives looks and iconic housewives and um, just discuss like their beauty from head to toe, fashion, hair, makeup, everything. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, let's get to it, Jess. So when we are discussing housewives, I kind of refer to all the franchises. Mm -hmm. Some people like certain ones, um, I love them all. Some seasons are better than others. Absolutely. Um, and we can have a whole podcast about that. But generally speaking, I'm going to tell you my favorites. Okay. Okay. Just in general, I love them all, but like currently where we're at right now over the past 12 months from all the seasons, all the franchises, these are my fave in no particular order. Atlanta. Okay. Potomac. Okay. Beverly Hills. Okay. Miami. You lost me. <laughs> I, watched, I think you I lost me on all. the next two. I watched you lost all. me on the next two. Because the Miami is not on Bravo anymore. It's on You know, um, I tried Peacock. to start Miami, but I was like, I don't, I can't. Ah, it's a lot happening. Did you watch the original? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, then you, I mean, you can still love the, the season of Miami and not really know the prior seasons. I, mean, I forget how many seasons they had, maybe like one or two, but, um, but yeah, I love them all. Those are kind of like my faves right now. Um, just uh, New Jersey finished um, airing a few months ago. It was cool. It was all right. Um, New York was horrible this past season um apparently they're doing a whole overhaul revamp yes a whole revamp on the new york housewives which is much needed oc wasn't really feeling um and again we can go we can have another episode as we talk about just the characters i like to call them characters kind of because i do feel like that they play a an amped up version of themselves on absolutely TV. Especially since they've been on for so long. Like right. they have to, they're for, I feel like the first season of all of these women, that's their true, true selves. Like that's right. who they, and the person who pops up in my head immediately is Ramona Singer. Like Ramona Singer. Oh who you, my. Who you, you know what, see? Jessica, actually though. Oh yeah. I was going to say, I think, okay. I was going to say the opposite, but you're saying what I'm, what I'm feeling. Go ahead. Sorry. Who who you see in se in season one with New York Ramona Singer is who she is amplified once like you get this fame like that's who you internally are like you girl she is like I I have heard she's like that on and off camera yeah like, I definitely she, believe it she is bad she's a lot crazy. <laughs> she, <laughs> she is, is a lot oh my gosh Jesus. she was she was uh she was. <laughs> trending a few months ago because she had like 
the most horrible brow job ever <laughs> and like you got to go look at it it was bad i'm like oh my gosh i meant to talk about it on our last week's episode about brows because that's what not to do when you uh, get your brows microbladed Ramona but, yeah. does a lot of things that you just shouldn't do shouldn't do you shouldn't say like girl just go sit down Go somewhere. She's too much for me. Um, I forgot about uh, Salt Lake City. It's one of my. It's 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 getting to one of, to be one of my faves. Depending on how this next season plays out, with all of the drama with Jin Shah and her craziness, um, it's kind Is of. Is she coming back though? Ah, she might be. I think so. You heard she's she like, not guilty in and everything. Um, well, the sentencing is until later this year, so I'm I'm pretty sure they're filming now. So she might mm. do a Teresa and miss a season or two while she does a bid and then come back when Child. she's out. <laughs> that is, <laughs> she, she, there's but at that point, there's no reason to be on the show because you can't talk about anything that people are gonna want. Well, oh, but no. You, but, you might need the coins. That's why they're on the show. You know, I think Erica, of a Erica Girardi, Girardi situation. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, girl, why are you on TV still with all this stuff going on? But you know what? That was, she's that was collecting a good season, though. That was a good, that was season. A good season. That was a good season. She's giving us the content. And she's giving us looks. <laughs> and so we'll we'll talk about that, obviously. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Those are the franchises I like. Do you have any... Um, opinions on on faves or ones you just refuse to watch because i know you have some um refuse to watch dallas because why i'm not oh, about dallas, dallas. I know. Mm, but they're not it, on it, anymore but yeah I like they're dallas. forgettable like what okay um my i'm mm, i haven't dove into um dubai but I okay. kind of want to. I kind of want to. It's not that great, into... honestly. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I'll keep that where it is. I'm not gonna <laughs> say it, waste my time. Um, so my favorites right now, I am in Beverly Hills, just like knee deep. I need to go. I try to let like one or two episodes build up, and then try to binge those, and then go watch those. But I binged. I binged Ultimate Girls Trip yesterday, and you finished it, it Jessica. <laughs> Y'all, backstory. I told her, <laughs> what was this, two days ago, that yes. she's really sleeping on Ultimate Girls Trip um, when they're at, what's the name of um, um, the Berkshires. Greystone, Berkshires, Greystone yeah. Manor. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I tell you that in 48 hours, with a whole job and other responsibilities. And yes, Jessica I was working. It. I literally was working yesterday watching this and I was laughing my ass off because it was not only was I told Brittany when she told me about it, she told me who was on it. And I said, this is the weirdest band of misfits that I think I've ever heard of in my life. But it was the funniest, just like, Girl. I feel like it was way realer than like, I don't know. It was it was very interesting. It was a very it was a lot of laughable moments that you just like laughed at for a minute. Um, I learned that a lot of people are equally as batshit crazy off of their seasons. Right. It's like right. amplified now. Um, right. I when Phaedra left her season, I did not have a good taste of her. Same. When she left, she redeemed herself on this spinoff because you see her in a completely different light. You see her very grown, very just like she's in a different space. And I like I appreciate her. her and I growth. like I like her growth and like she's coming off, you know, more in, more intentional in terms of like her words and yes. her role, you know, yes. but at the same time, still giving us great moments. Great moments, great moments, <laughs> and great, great looks. looks. Yeah. Oh my, I am giving her, I was going to put it in our notes, but I'm giving her an honorable mention for this ultimate girls trip because she was coming with a look every, every time. time, every time that, um, both of her, um, interview looks were amazing. The yep. hair was everything. I was like, Patrick, 
what face you got these The wigs points, were bro? laid though. The like wigs it's like were did they have laid. did they have glam there? I think they did have I think Phaedra had glam for sure. I think Tamara had glam. Um okay. Vicky can go hot under rock. She annoyed me the entire season. Like, girl, what just go home. Just just go home. Yeah, she's not she wasn't whooping up Vicky in that No. One. But this is so a sidetrack, but I'm so fresh off of this. Everybody's Botox looks a fright. Yeah. Like yes. Brandy Glanville. Brittany. Brandy Glanville's lip was like <laughs> it is she's getting into that, like well get not getting, she's there to that she's like, there. Cat, that catwoman territory. That's what that's what my sister said. It's so bad. Like and, and, she and the thing got is her she, ass done. Yes. <laughs> what are you and it's like <laughs> I don't, I, th- that is not a look. Like, no, what are you it's not. doing? It why looks do, bad. Why are people, you, and you know, you know who, and this is what I, sh- she was one of my faves, but she's starting to enter that territory and it's Taylor. Chrissy, Te- Chris, I was uh, going to say Chrissy Teigen. Who's mm. T- Taylor? Oh yeah. Taylor. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Taylor's- I'm off of Housewives. Yeah. I'm saying Chrissy Teigen. She's, oh, yeah. she's starting to get a lot of work done. Um, but Taylor is, She's getting into the cat territory. I don't yeah. not even a, I don't like Taylor. I mean, me either. I, and she tried to like have a voice, which I'm not going to take your voice away from you. You do have a voice. W- absolutely. From where you, where you were in right. your actual season till now. Yes, you have a voice, but it just came out of nowhere. And I was like, what, what's going on? She smiled one time and like, she couldn't even move Did her move? face. And, no, it didn't move. I was like, uh, what's going on? Okay. All right. This is a miss. It's a miss. But yeah, it was actually really good. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I stayed up until 1130 last night watching this damn show. I was mad they didn't have a reunion. I know. I know. It would have been really I nice to see. I kind of was looking forward to a reunion, actually. Yeah. See them come back and kind of reflect on the shit show that was um especially dorinda she needs like Dur- a, a reckoning a come to jesus moment because she dorinda, looked awful she looked awful and she's been and i understand now why they put her on a pause because the last couple of season seasons of new york i was like what is wrong with her like i get you know you're still grieving everybody grieves differently right but we don't want to take that from her out very angry and it just comes very she's negative a sloppy and dark. drunk Ugh. it's very like it's I so embarrassing not, it's very like <laughs> when Phaedra was like uh you want to go beat her up she was like she was telling Brandon Brandon was like I was about to go beat her up she's old blah 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 and Phaedra was like she could be your mama <laughs> and Brandon said she's only five she, years she, older than <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing about the about the series because there's so many moments like that where you are literally laughing out loud i was cracking up yesterday I and then did you see the dying. bartender how he was just like in his corner laughing <laughs> couldn't hold it together it was great it was great it was a okay, great season we have to talk about the eyebrows <laughs> moment because <laughs> <laughs> because oh, man. I if I was drinking something I would have spit it up when I saw that part <laughs> so we're going to reenact it for you they're at a dinner <laughs> oh, get it together man. <laughs> it was so funny it was so funny they're oh, at a man. dinner and Brandy is like hitting on this the guy chef. the chef okay he was the chef yeah. the chef and Apparently, they find out that the chef is actually married to the hostess An- or the waitress, it- whoever was helping them, right? Right. So, so, um, so yeah, so it's revealed that, hey, they're actually married, like Brandy back off, like he's, you know, he's taken or whatever. And the, the woman, his wife, Brandy thought was a lesbian. And so they're on their way to the bathroom and le- <laughs> Brandy was like, oh, she's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> just out the blue don't know her from adam like was out like, of the blue Phaedra, Phaedra said how you know she's a lesbian yeah <laughs> she said it's so her eyebrows <laughs> sorry guys okay and it's oh, like it's man. one of those things where you just have to see it but like the way she says it what's so 
like it's not even emphatically it's just like for sure like her eyebrows and then she stares off into like to space like like stare like like how is what i'm saying not crazy at all right oh man or so crazy everybody at at, so everybody every, at the table goes <laughs> well how i just know <laughs> Well, and Phaedra just has this cackle and it's just like, Lord, take me now. I forget what she said. I, it was, it was like one of the funniest moments. I just, it was, I, it was hilarious. I, I got fainted. A, I got a good laugh out of that one. It was, it was thoroughly enjoyable. I, <sighs> oh, I live for the housewives sometimes because it, like, if you're having a bad day, if you just need to work and you just need background noise, just turn on the housewives. It's perfect. I know. I it's, do that all the it's time. It's a great, it's a great working, like working at your computer show, to be honest. Absolutely. <laughs> Whew, okay. So let's get into it. So we want to talk mm-hmm. um, all things beauty when it comes to housewives. Um, Jess and I have um, a list of some, um, some of the housewives that we think bring it. Um, every episode, every season, um, I'm sure you will, you all will agree with us just because I know you'll agree. Um, (laughs) because there's no, I mean, it's either you have it or you don't honestly, when it comes, and when we say looks, we're talking from head to toe. Um, we're not talking about, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. She's wears the best makeup. Um, oh my gosh, her hair is always cute. She wears the best wigs. No. We are talking from head to toe consistently. So, drum roll, please. Um, I might insert one in there. Um, so, uh, so, let's discuss. Okay. In no particular order, we have Dorit from oh, Beverly Hills. My favorite. She's hands down my favorite. Every time Dorit steps into in front of a camera, whether it be interview looks, whether it be going to a random coffee shop in Los Angeles, California, the girl brings it. Like, I don't know who her stylist is or if she's coming up with all these looks on her own. But Dorit is hand, everybody on this list. I love, but Dorit is my number one. Oh, no notes for me. Um. Erica Jane or Erica Girardi, which one are we talking about? Both. Mm. I mean, because I feel like when she's like, like she she has a look, right? Like she she is definitely bringing it every time. Sometimes are even like more outrageous, and I say outrageous not with a negative connotation. It's just you know, it's just spectacular, and I feel like those moments are Erica Jane. When she's, you know, chilling with the girls, you That's know, in the house or at dinner, um, it's Erica Girardi. But both of them are bringing it every time head to toe. I think er- Erica Girardi, 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 Girardi brings more of like the glam. Um, she brings more of like just a soft, a soft look. But Erica Jane. Drama. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> Um, then we have Marlo Hampton and just isn't, you haven't been watching, are you watching the current season? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. So yeah, Mm -hmm. I had to explain to Jess why she's, um, on the list. And so for those of you listening who are watching the current season, I'm sure you're nodding your your head yes in agreement with us. Marlo is giving us high fashion she's giving us designers she's giving us locks one day a wig the next straight hair inches she's giving it all to us and i appreciate the time and money that she's spending for our eyes so when britney said marlo immediately what popped into my head was the very first season that we were introduced to marlo Marlo was like the little net, the little fly <laughs> that like used to get on everyone's nerves. And it's just like, well, w- this, this evolution, I did go do there a is, research. First of all, Jess, I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt you, but there is no evolution when it comes to her annoyance oh, okay. and drama. Right. So I okay. will definitely give you a little teaser about this next, about this current season. Got it. In relation to her. She's still okay. the same. So Marlo. she's still 
Okay. So I can, <laughs> I can appreciate the look, but I'm still going to be like, this girl is annoying as shit. Got it. Okay. But when she entered the Atlanta scene season, whatever that was, the looks weren't there. The money, she probably was getting some money from somebody in Atlanta. Her but sponsors now, weren't there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now she has them. Plus she's got a Bravo chick. So now I went and did a, a very extensive scroll on Marlo's page. And sis is, she's bringing it. She's, she's bringing it every done. time. She, she, oh, and she is very proud of the work she got done. She mm -hmm. is not, she is not shy about that. She's, she's told that, us that in seasons past also. It, whoever she went to, they did a great job because she still looks like Marlo, but like a um, an edited version. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you say pared down. I'm going to say pared up version. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I am interested to see how Atlanta has changed. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a, a asterisk by Marlo and I'll get back to y'all on the next episode that we do of the housewives and okay. my, my view of Marlo aside from her personality. Yeah. How we feel personalities are not in consideration when it comes to this list. We are just talking looks, what we see. We're not talking about what we hear. We're talking about what we see. And, um, like I said, she's always giving us something, um, She's giving us, you know, high fashion casual. She's, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's mm, a look. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a look. It's a when look. When I was scrolling, she had like a, you know, I'm all for a good sweatsuit, mm -hmm. a good sweatpant, sneaker yes. moment. And she had one and I was like, sir, she has those. sir, yes. I need it. She has those. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> um, okay. So this next person on our list might be a bit controversial if we're talking about looks in comparison to the other three women we just named because i do feel like she's she's always cute right mm -hmm. i feel like she's, she's gorgeous she's gorgeous she's not giving us high fashion she's not necessarily giving us brands but she is always it's put together really well correct absolutely um and that's uh miss miss portia williams i want to say is her mm -hmm. last name because she's not She's not married yet to the new sponsor. I mean, uh, Bay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, hope I would love for Portia to be listening to this, but I hope she's not on this episode. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> because I have my favor has waned with her in the past twelve months, so I'm not a huge. I'm not a fan as much as I was of her. Um, in the past, just because I'm not really liking the way she's moving. Um, but she looks cute and she's looking even better now. <laughs> okay. Do we think that this has something to do with what we just said about Marlo? Like the sponsors bays are there. Um, right. The Bravo check is there. Right. Every season, I think for Portia was getting got better and better i will say and i hope i don't get some hate from this but like after she had her baby like miss pj who's adorable um i think she was just trying to find herself again i think she kind of lost you know her passion for you know beauty hair um fashion all that stuff um she looked to, she looked a bit Bust down, kind of um, Frump, frumpy, frumpy, yeah. Uh, and even I think there was an episode. I think I forget she was like talking with Candy or somebody, and they even mentioned it. Like, girl, you don't look great. Like, you need to go home and get yourself together. Like, make sure you are okay because um, there was a moment of concern I had for Portia um, after she had uh, Miss PJ, but she got it together. And like I said, she is um, looking amazing, especially now. She looks happy, I will say. Um, she is just being her fun, fabulous self. And I love that about her. I love that for her. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's why Portia is on our list. Um, in terms of like her looks, and we can also talk about moments from each of these housewives, but Portia's hair is always laid. 
and Mm -hmm. obviously you know she has her extensions line um beautiful hair she you know she and she you know she's cut her hair before she's she wears wigs she wears extensions all of that and one thing i will say is her hair is always um on point her outfits like i said are great they're great set she does she's she does sets a lot she's a set girl um and i I love that about her because i love sets sets are just so easy especially as yeah as uh, busy women and so she always has a great set um her makeup's always cute always fire brows are always done lashes she has a really great nail game also um and yeah, that's, I think that's why she's on our list. I, I was kind of hesitant to put her. I know Jess, you put her, I was hesitant, but when, if you think about the overall package, mm-hmm. you know, um, does she compete with the Dorit's and Erica's and Marlo's? No, no. <clears throat> but should she be considered as, you know, uh, an iconic housewives when it comes to like looks? Um, absolutely. I think when I think about Portia, I think about her interview looks and her reunion looks. I don't necessarily think about how with Dorit, I think about um, her just going out, living life, and she's just amazing. I don't think about Portia in that same in that same light. So it's that's where you know it kind of gets a little fuzzy for for Portia for sure. So, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's a great segue, though. What'd you say? That's a great segue into like the My second is dying. Oh Jesus! What did you? What? What's the last thing you said? I didn't even hear it. I said that um, her Portia's interview looks and her reunion looks are what stand out the most to me. That's why I put her on the list because she typically is gonna bring it when she's just in the interviews by herself and when she's sitting on those couches at the end of the season, sis is flawless. Like, I don't know what, who her glam team is, who her stylists are or whatever. But I was also saying that um, I don't think of her in terms of in the season, having a look like if Dorit goes to the target down the street, she's going to have, she's going to be to the nines. I don't, I don't think of Portia like that. She doesn't stand out to me that much, but reunion for sure. Absolutely. I I could, I definitely agree with that. Um, Okay. So let's talk about then the iconic looks. So for me, a few, you know, stand out in my mind. Again, Portia's iconic looks are a reunion um, episode, um, a, a confessional, um, during the season, but, uh, but with the, with the other women on the list, there are so many moments where they're, where they're giving us, you know, a, a, a great hairdo or, um, a, a great fashion moment. Um, so for me, I love Erica's fashion. I love Marlo's fashion. I love Marlo's fashion just cause it's, it's just labels. Right. And it's just like, Marlo wants you to know that she has on something that costs more than, you know, most people's salary. And that's, <laughs> I mean, that's, no, I mean, I'm telling you when she's like head to toe sometimes in designer, that shit is expensive. And I think she wants us to know that she's more, she's more of the type that wear like, the 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 logos right a lot mm-hmm. of some of like mm-hmm. you don't i don't see like a erica wearing logos all the time er, no, you know they, you have money like she doesn't yeah. need to like you know broadcast it whereas marlo maybe needs to broadcast it what is she making it up making up for i don't know but she's definitely going to tell you what she has on versus the other women but you know the other women that like if we're comparing like the West Coast to the East Coast, Beverly Hills to Beverly Hills, Orange County, uh, 
not Utah. They they have on like you know that they have on Chanel, Gucci, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I think the LA girls they do it more so in diamonds. They do it in right. bags. They do it in car. Like <laughs> they do bags. it. They give us bags and diamonds. Is the jewelry is like you see Erica Jane had that um that that um cat ring jack war ring oh yeah that um what is it but you know um but then diana had like multiple of them mm-hmm, the cartier mm-hmm. the cartier ones yes mm-hmm. yes yeah. when vanderpump was on there she was giving us everything as far Opulence. as just luxury and it's right. just like out here they just give us a little bit more that that old they they got that old, old money. money. Right. <laughs> they got that old money. Whereas in Atlanta, it's a little bit more flashy in the sense of I'm new gonna money. have <laughs> new money. It's new money. It's um I gotta have the Gucci on, but it has to be a set. I gotta have the Gucci back. So I think that's what the difference is. And like you see it. It's so fun, like seeing the vast difference, but everybody, it's just all this money. Just like, girl, can you just Can I have a, a dollar? <laughs> give me a dollar and I can say it's this is from Erica Jane. I'll give you a thousand dollars for it. Okay, great. Okay, actually you can because her she just did it in a state sale at her um house out in Pasadena. Um it might still be ongoing, right? So you can actually shop Erica's wardrobe or house if she has some stuff left in the house. My money ain't still long. <laughs> it's discounted, so I'm sure we could oh, afford something up in there. Oh, but yeah, that's very geez. true. I mean, um, I like when I like when Erica when they when she travels abroad and you know how she she dresses for the occasion for the the moment mm-hmm. that they're in. Um, she had this uh, what is it uh, that look uh what what's the i keep forgetting the material um that latex latex, latex. she wears latex, latex a latex. lot yes mm-hmm. i love that she did that um she dressed like um she dressed like a um what are um, the hero the, um, hiroshu Ho, um, yes yeah the geishas and and when she went to mm-hmm. japan like i like that she plays up and she you know and she um it's almost like a costume for her you know what the other latex moment was that we couldn't think of when she had the what? she had the whip, she had the whip when yes, they were. That's what it was. That's what it, it was, was. Wasn't it like head to toe latex? Yes, yes. yes. She had the whip. She it was like a full moment. And when she pulled, when like when she got off the van, because okay, now it's coming back to me. Everybody left her because she was right. taking too long to get into this she latex. Get in latex. And once she pulled up and she got out of that car, everybody was like, we see why you, we were waiting. Right. Like, yeah. we bow down to the queen. We like, stand. it was a moment. I was clinching my pearls on the episode. <laughs> oh, it was so great. It was so great. <laughs> it was so great. Yes. And then, and Dorit, she, and you know what I like about Dorit? She will mix high, low, and I've seen her do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. she, 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 she plays with different designers. She does stuff with her hair that I just am in love. You, you're going to mention a moment, but I, there was also a, a moment that didn't go over well with the other ladies. Um, when she had that gold in her hair and they were like, she got shitted on by mm. a gold, uh, gold pigeons. But I was mm-hmm, like, she tried mm-hmm, and she, mm-hmm. she takes risks and I love that she about does her. Take risk. The risk she that will- she took more so in the first season that she, I didn't realize that Dorit has been on Beverly Hills as long as she has been on Beverly Hills. But yeah. the first like two seasons, she was doing things and they weren't hitting. And then <laughs> that third season, she sat down and like slayed everybody. I was like, Lord have mercy. This girl. Everyone. That that moment that um oh, uh, it was the first moment that she did the super matchy. What was it? It was like was it Louis Vuitton? Was it the Louis Vuitton moment? Where were they going? I know she wears Louis a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. But it was the first time that she had ever done, like, everything was matching. And everybody was like, oh, it's overkill. But the more you sat with it, it was like, okay. This she did cute. a brown moment. And mm-hmm. I was living for it. But my I think time- first it came it came all it came all across like she was trying too hard mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know when she first started doing it but now she's kind of set in, in it and it's just like you know it's become her now so we expect it now because she's yeah. been doing it for so long 
Um, I appreciate it. And I, I was going to say, and I love every minute of it. I appreciate it. Every, keep slaying, Dorit. <laughs> keep slaying because little old Jessica Houston out here in North Hollywood. I appreciate it. I do. I do. Um, you said you liked her hair, right? Yes. So I don't know if anybody else is going to be here with me in this moment. When Dorit walked out in that super just like slick back pony and the pony was down to the floor i was also on the floor with the pony iconic it was a moment in time like that was that was it was so it was so simple but it was done so elegantly like it was right. uh, it was so good it was heavy it was, too i remember it was it was oh it. when did, she did, did erica do a a, a long pony one one episode too. I feel like she had a long pony moment too, but I don't think it was as nice as Dorit's. I don't think so. I don't. I think she. I think she tried to do it after Dorit, and then it just didn't go over well. And it was just like, girl, no. <laughs> just, Been there, done that. Just keep keep moving. But yeah, that's my all. Dorit, she's always put together very right. nicely. Very. Yeah, she's. Yeah, yeah, all the all the other I I wish more of the housewives would take their beauty so seriously as the women we just talked about because it does make for better TV. It's a, you know, it's it's like it's it's a it's a conversation piece, right? Every time, you know, Dorit enters the the party, you know, you, you can't wait to see where she what she's wearing or the same for Erica, you know, oh, what did they pack or what's their glam squad going to do? Mm-hmm. And and I love that. I like that they've put a lot of time and effort into, you know, the show really because it shows that it is important to them. They have they have these characters that they've, you know, that they've developed over time. And I don't know, I, it'd be nice to see, like, like the Potomac ladies. I feel like they can, they can um, step it up some. I feel like these, you know, Beverly Hills, Atlanta, some of the Atlanta girls, you know, they are applying pressure. And the, the Potomac women and the Jersey is just a whole, this is a different, like, culture. So I'm not even going to talk about them. Absolutely. They can't even be in the ballpark. No. Like, New York can. Like New York but... can. Some of the girls in um, Salt Lake City can. Miami, actually. I do like some of the fashion from some of the girls in Miami it's um I mean it's Miami so that in and of itself it's a lot of colors it's a lot of bling um they give also um so an honorable mention for me is um a housewife from Dubai Chanel Ayan um she is kind of new well she's new but she will show up Oh my gosh, they went to go uh, look for, um, they went to go, go, they went shopping for gold, but it was more of like, like a flea market kind of setup in Dubai the, where they went. Like in Sex and the City when they went to that thing? Like yes, that? absolutely. Okay. Like that. Okay. Um, Chanel Ayan showed up in a whole ball gown. Like that's what she's, that's what she's giving us in, um, Dubai. And I appreciate that. Like she is, you know, stepping into who she is. She's, de- she's branding herself. Really. She's a model. She's so she already gorgeous. Has- gorgeous drop dead she's gorgeous so she already has access to all these designers and everything and um so yeah and i think for me it's like giving uh, like a little sneak peek into like her daily life or like the access that she has and stuff so i I like it i'm here for it um another honorable mention for me is sheree um i know she was a housewife before she's back now on this season and she's she's bringing it like she was always one of those housewives that always looked great you know her hair it was always good her makeup was always done her fashion was was good but she's giving us more high fashion also this year she's giving us more designers and she's she looks great i mean oh my gosh for just to see her evolution um i love her hair I'm all, she's, she has great hair, just the texture of her hair. She's, she's not one to really wear wigs. Um, I don't know if that, those are extensions in her hair, like clippings or whatever, but she has a great head of hair. Um, I love what she does with her um, outfits. She's also a set girl. She wears some sets. They went to Jamaica this, um, this season. She had some beautiful, I mean, blonde braids that were just I mean, so beautiful waist link braids. So she always, you know, arrives for the moment. And I appreciate that about her. So that's why I'm going to give um, Sheree honorable mention as well. 
I'm still stuck on She by Sheree, which Girl, is supposed to be. Don't even. It's <laughs> supposed to be coming. It's supposed <laughs> to be coming spring, summer this year. So what? September. Spring, summer, fall. <laughs> September, October, November. <laughs> Okay. I, I love Sheree. I love Sheree, but I, I'm I'm out of touch with where Atlanta is now, so I have no comments other than she by Sheree is coming, girls. We'll see. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> okay, so um, Jess, I'm going to have to recap because I got to go, um, but I'll recap offline. Um, anything else you want to mention? No, I love Housewives. If you know, everyone doesn't understand the ratchetry of housewives <laughs> but if you do have time aside from your busy work schedule and you just want to sit down and divulge in some fuckery look at join housewives us. yes <laughs> join us i'll see you in atlanta because that's where i'm going next <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast, write us a review, follow us online on Instagram at kinks in beauty. It's kinks in like the letter in beauty. You can find us there and we will see you all next week. Thanks so much. Bye.